what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in for another episode on Unique Trail Adventures. In this video, we've got a review of what has been going on with this rig so far and what we've got up to this point. This rig started off as a Trail Finder 2, the RTR version that originally came with a Yoda body and it's gone through a little bit of transformations here and there, some minor updates, nothing major mostly stock still. Starting off, little things that I've done here. I've used some shoe goo or some clear ES6000 glue or silicone type stuff. And I've, these rings that are on the drive shaft, I've used the silicone to basically keep these rings in place. So that way, because one of the weak problems with these factory drive shafts from RC four wheel drive is that things would slip off, which would then tweak the U joints enough to where it would twist out of position and you end up with failed drive lines out in the field. And so far it's been a great little mod. It's held up quite nicely. Um, however, on the last outing, as you'll see, and I will link it in the description box below, and also in this card, um, click on that link above, above, so that you could see that video. Um, you'll see uh, that I had a little bit of difficulty where I was getting pretty good traction on both the rear and the front, and as I was power trying to power through on an incline, it ended up, this drive shaft on the front ended up twisting out of position until it snapped off. So I did have a failure out in the field. Um, I was still able to finish having a day out there, having fun. I had to fix this drive shaft. One of the other mods that you can do these, on these drive shafts is put a dowel, either a dowel pin, wood, plastic, plastic from parts three inside this part because it's hollow inside which allows that twisting motion which twists these drive shaft out of whack. So the other thing that I've got on here are these 1.55, these wheels right here, 1.55 Sealy Sweet with the 1.55 Growlers. Awesome tires, awesome wheel combo, gets great grip, highly recommend these tires. Nice kind of period correct for the Chevy Blazer hard body and these tires in all the sizes. I've got them in all sizes. 1.55s to 1.9s and 2.2s. Awesome, awesome. All three sizes, awesome grip. So highly recommend these tires. Pitbull Growlers, great buy. Added some weights to give a more front heavy bias. So got a couple of, just to show you here, got a couple of weights on here, if you could see that. Right there, right there, there's a few on there. And there are a few inside the front. Uh, let's see, where else did I put them? Oh, I put some on the inside of the bumper to add more weight. Also in here, I've added this gear reduction unit. Crawler motor will go in a slower ratio. It helps it climb better. Um, also, I've used these D90 slash D110 front shock hoops, so they're longer, and I'm able to use these longer. So right now, temporarily, I'm using stock axial shocks in that position, so I get more travel. More travel, um, give it a thumbs up if you like, if you like the video, and please subscribe to the channel and spread the word to the community. Love this super fun hobby. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Even with these leaf springs. So, um, one other thing that I've done, let's see if you can see that under the suspension. So I've added an O-ring in between, a little bit longer screw. So an O-ring just above the axle and in between the axle and the leaf spring. And also, if you notice that, these leaf springs would have been multiple layers. I believe three is factory. So I've taken off a couple of leaf springs so I get softer suspension travel. So those are real rust on those lug nuts and the studs. 
just from overtime getting wet and I just leave them to let dry in the wind picking up some oxidation we've got some legitimate rust also here I've made my own license plates uh, let's turn that upside down so you can see that better so right there see those the plates that I've made uh, I just custom made color printer and made those plates. I've added weights around the inner part of the rim, the wheels, and tucked inside the tires, inside the foam. So that way I have more front weight bias into the front axle lower. Awesome, awesome, awesome trucks. Whether they're RTR or the kit versions, I think anybody that's got these rigs would be super happy with them. Uh, so I'll post uh, another link for the other videos of this truck in action. I've got a few videos out now with this bad boy. And uh, stay tuned for more updates and more videos with this rig. That about rounds out the mods so far that I've done to this TF2. Well, that's about it for this episode of Unique Adventures. Thanks for tuning in. Um, as always, appreciate all the comments. Please post your comments suggestions in the description box below. If there are certain types of videos that you would like to see on the channel, please leave it in the description box below. I try to re reply to all the comments as much as I can. Uh, please stay tuned. Um, you'll see more from more videos about this rig, more run videos, more scale crawling videos um, on this rig, the Trail Finder 2, the SCX-10 Axials, the SCX-10 Wraiths, the six scale GI Joe, six scale Jeep, Willys Jeeps, awesome super scale hard bodies also. Um, more videos of those will be coming up. Um, and as of right now, also a channel update for Unique Trail Adventures channel. I will try to get a video out at least every two weeks, so please stay tuned on that. How often I'm going to post. If uh, I'm gonna shoot for a video every two weeks. Again, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.